Thanks, Jamie. And yes, everybody, we've just repositioned slightly, and it seems actually that um, these hyenas potentially have just been staying outside of the den, not going down in the burrow, because maybe with all the rain it might be a little bit waterlogged in there. So we've seen a couple of adults lying off just next to a bush, and all the cubbies and everybody is actually out and about. But we just... Uh, waiting to see these cubs running in between the the grass and backwards and forwards from the den to the adults so we just uh, came over to them and see if if um, there's any more of them now i might just go back a little bit in a little while because they are now walking on the path very close to us they were very stationary just before we came here but now they're up and down looks like they're getting a little bit more energy waking up so sorry for the front of the car there, but um, I'm just going to wait. But now they, they've gone on to this other side here. Wait. Sorry about that, Craig. That's, that's where they all are with a couple of the adults next to the bush here. So nice to see them all out. We were nearly ready to leave, and uh, we spotted a couple of them just over on the side here and we thought we'd come and have a look and it seems like it's just about all of the cubbies out here I think there's one or two still down in the in the actual burrow but maybe it's quite muddy down there still from the rain and there's been a little bit of playing and wrestling chewing of each other's ears they're very cute <laughs> with the the very dark of the the, the younger ones um, that's obviously the color that they are born in very almost black and then as they get older as the month, months go past they start getting their lighter color and their spots which then starts to look like that one in the grass there but quite difficult to see at the moment the grass is quite long here but we just get nice little glimpses of them as they start playing around now through the through the grass. There's an adult. It's just set up. As I say, it's quite difficult to see them. Now, Anne, thanks for your comment saying that I'm the hyena whisperer. Well, <laughs> I do enjoy their company, I have to say that. So I get quite disappointed when I come here to the den and there's nothing happening. Everybody just asleep. I really enjoy when they're up and about. And everybody up to something they have fascinating creatures so there's a little bit of an older youngster it's getting more of its adult colors and coat but still quite fluffy that's probably uh, sort of around he heading towards a year of age and they do suckle from their mother up to about 18 months so nearly two years which is very old for carnivores I normally um, suckle for a lot less and the bonus of that is hyenas uh, milk is extremely rich in protein uh, probably the richest of all the carnivores as well um, so not only are they suckling for longer they're suckling on extremely rich protein um, milk and so it really does tend towards having given them the very best start uh, that is possible and so after that two years of age they pretty much then are independent but um, if they're male they would have to uh, become a, a nomad and try and find a clan that would accept him or allow him to stay in the area uh, Vincent You've asked the question, is there a reason why their body structure is the way it is? Uh, yes, Vincent, absolutely. Um, they've got that slopey back, which um, slopes down towards the back. 
so smaller or shorter legs on the on the hind quarters than in the front so very powerful in the front and then the slopey back and that tends to lean towards being a long distance runner quite similar to that of of wildebeest they've also got that slight slope towards the back which means that uh, it, it's um, way more um, developed for long distance running and hyenas are very good long distance runners what they'll do is especially if they're hunting an animal they will press up behind it quite similar to that of wolves for instance although they don't do it with such uh, pace they'll do it for much longer than wolves will do it they press up behind the animals they keep chasing them and they continue pressing up for hours if necessary and and with that slopey back they are able to uh, keep the endurance up the stamina um, and so they are relatively fast they're not uh, sprinters but they are relatively fast and they can keep it up for hours so they'll then chase an animal basically to exhaustion and eventually the animal will literally lie down because it just can't anymore and um, the hyenas then make a, an easy kill so that is really for me the real reason behind their body shape is tending them to be able to uh, be their long distance runners and long distance hunters uh, at that and a couple of little growls and noises vocalization coming from the hyena but as you can see from there that's the view that we had and we didn't really see them to start with we had to sit a little bit and just wait for some movement now I'd love for us to be able to see some of their tracks and and be able to show you smaller hyena tracks um, but while I see if we can find any here in the grass let's head you on down south to Steve who's got some tracks but I'm not sure if they are hyena